So, this is the last commentary before finale, which we agreed to watch as a group. Probably at Nick's house. But until then, we have 26 following. It's a big one plot-wise, so I'm going to double down on the explaining and the commentary for this specific video. But before I get into that, I just want to show you something real quick. This is, this is just not related to war whatsoever. But... A Lego International Space Station. Um, probably the coolest Lego set I ever put together alongside the Imperial Star Destroyer. But yeah, complete side thing, you know. Just thought it would be fascinating to show that off because it's gonna be staying on that desk now. So the, finally the desk has something, it's not boring anymore, it just doesn't have a mic and you know a laptop sitting on it. But yeah, so that's that. We also have a fancy gimbal that we're gonna start using, $180. That will come in handy for future episodes and scenes. All right. We start off with James working on a mock mini drone and Logan talking on the phone with some trainees. And then there's Mitchell. He's scanning the computers, you know, touch screen, doing some research. Nick did a bad job at the camera shot. You can see the, the, um, the screens are black. Those screens aren't con really connected. They weren't on. And uh, Nick, Nick just showed him. So that, that was a blow. Um, the beginning scene with the little drone, that was supposed to be a foreshadow, a sneak peek to a scene in season two where we actually used the drone for us uh, from um, searching for Arnold's and the hacker's headquarters. But um, that ended up, it was in the bloopers. If you saw the bloopers, it ended up uh, not working right because the drone was a complete bust. So yeah, he's going to three different spots that um, Maroney, like uh, like his three houses, they're gonna go to one each and they're gonna see which one he's at. So yeah, James, Logan, Mitchell. Mark's just standing there. That's the same spot where Aaron stands in the next episode. It's, such, it's so funny. So yeah, then we have, we're, we're focusing on Arnold here. He is doing some some research of his own. He finds one of Psychmos' sanctuaries and he goes and finds him. So he has a bow in the back, he's got his gun, and then he's there, Psychmos and Arnold. And he's got that old laser cannon. I think this is the last time he uses that weapon. Some interesting music. I'm not sure where, where this, this music came from. I think Nick edited this scene. The lighting's a little off, but it's okay because it's still season one. Yep. Still getting up, keying in on those chalices, sneak peek, because those things are going to be focused big time in season two. But this episode is mob-centered. Well, it, it's everything-centered, but it, primarily the mob. And then disappears. And that's the first time he used the chalice to disappear. I did not... Yeah, I think it is. So now we have the fake hacker. Fake hacker... Bounty Hunter, played by Aaron. Owen was not available, you know, because he was living far away. And then Dylan and Arnold. Arnold is back. Mm -hmm. So they're like, we should be focusing on Maroney and the mob. because We don't want to take them out, too. Mm -hmm. The slam. The hacker wants Maroney. <laughs> he make, makes a mention on teeth because it's a different mask. We got to buy a new one because we lost the first one. Yeah. What have you been doing? Where's the bounty hunter been? So, the excuse for the bounty hunter not being in a lot of episodes, potential wasted, honestly, because bounty hunter was a pretty pretty fun character. So, yes. Psychmos can, took him as well, but he was not in the the, uh, the game, I guess. So, yeah. He, he managed to escape, and then he's been doing things. Obviously, that's not the original bounty hunter. That's Aaron. Complete different body shape, completely different voice. And then, yeah, he gets the, gives him the drink. And he's like, yes, I agree with those words. So the, the shot of that house, that's completely changed now. They worked on that house. And then, boom, this is Maroney's go-to house establishment. He, yeah, he, this, is, this is Maroney right here walking. And this is Arnold spying on him. So he's going to this location first. Just watching from afar. Oh, no, 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 that's... 
That's Arnold. Yeah. Did I say Arnold? Or did I say Mitchell? Well, either way, that's Arnold watching him. And then this is Leo. And every time I hear that alarm now, it scares me. That's the, the, the one meme Apple sound effect. I turned it into my wake up alarm and I, I just dread it every early morning. Hear that noise. Yep. He's on vacation. Beach in my tunnels. Did Leo change his voice? Hmm. Yeah, can't help him. He's a few hundred miles away. Maroney knows that these guys are catching up to him. So here we go. Now we're at the same spot. Logan. This is Maroney's other house. This is where Mitchell goes. I can't remember the exact locations. We we mentioned it earlier in the episode. But yeah, so, so Mark's going to the spot that um, Arnold was at earlier in the day. This is the afternoon, or uh, this is, I guess, night. So Arnold actually follows Maroney, who leaves this house, this blue house right here, to go to the one where Mitchell's at. So all three, played by me, are going to meet up in this episode. I believe it's the only time we ever did it. It's the first time and the only time. That shot is one of the best we've done. Um, but yeah, I guess we didn't show where Nick, Nick, Nick went to, I'm not sure, he does have a third house, Maroney, and Cannon, so Nick went there, we just didn't show it on screen. Mitchell enters through the back way, we do not see how Arnold enters, but the next scene, after the, the black fade, or cut, we see Arnold. This is Arnold in case you're getting confused, in the coat and the hood. And he is searching for the orb because the previous owner of this house, William Thomas, was an archeologist. He was a collector of like ancient artifacts, all, all sorts of fancy stuff. And when he passed away and Maroney took the house, he kept all those artifacts there. So that's why they had the orb. Arnold is searching for the orb. Mitchell does not know about the orb, but he's there simply on business with the elites, you know, and they're focused on the mob. So yeah, this is just a silent scene of Arnold searching around. Um, the lighting. Very interesting for most of this episode. I, I, I tend to like that when it goes in the light dark. Um, this is, uh, you hear the Memento soundtrack, so this is an homage to the search scene of Walter's apartment. I think his name was Walter. And, um, Al Pacino was the one searching around, so you know. Legendary actor Al Pacino. I try, I, I mean, like, he's probably my favorite actor of all time, so. It's only fair I did something like this. And here we go, boom. He pulls this out. Searches. I didn't have the orb with me at the time, so this is basically this is this is the the scene showing of him taking the orb, but he, you don't actually see. He just takes a bunch of stuff and puts it in his pocket. He does pull out the card of Jesus Christ, which is a signal, a foretelling of how uh, much religious impact uh, is on war and mob. I mean, we already had you know the Great One and his, his group go down earlier this season, just a few episodes ago. And these are the feet of Maroney. He knows something up. He knows something is up. Maroney is, is quite the intelligent human being. Uh, very witty. Some of the greatest quotes probably come from Maroney. I know a lot of people like him. And, you know, he's gone now. But it's time to move on. And we, we got Leo now. Oh, my bad. Leo's dead too. But, yeah. We have Mr. Philly now. And he's quite the character himself. So yeah, this is Maroney. He's going to handle him. So Arnold came in the one way. Maroney's going this way. And then he's going to meet. Is it right there? Arnold's downstairs now. He was about to leave the house with the orb. Fritz's dog bones down there in the corner. That's pretty funny. Dude, Arnold. What's with it? Yeah, big place for sure. Four stories. Well, that's actually 
more than that. There's some, some hidden areas. You know, this is recorded with the old phone, so the audio does struggle a little bit. At least the, the dialogue. The soundtrack's fine. It, it's quiet. It should, might be a little bit quieter for this moment. This is the Inception soundtrack. See, Maroney has security cameras around his place. He knows who's coming. So here we go. Mitchell, Arnold, and Maroney all in the same room. <laughs> Maroney jumps from the top. Obviously, I wasn't actually going to jump from the top, so I kind of did like halfway and we cut it a certain way. And then he bolts it to the fridge. Why does he go in the fridge? Secret tunnels. Arnold takes a look at the fridge. He's wondering, hmm, wait a second. Here's gunshots, and he's like, screw it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to try to find him. I, I, ask questions later. He's stealing Maroney's van. Uh, that, that was an editing error, but it's no big deal. So, yeah. Takes the Toyota. Not a very good getaway car, but it was the only thing in the garage. And then here we go. Mitchell follows soon after. I guess he was killing all the people, all the guards in the house because you heard gunshots. So that's basically inferring that there were, he was dealing with some guards. And then this is actually shot at daytime. Obviously, we, we had to do it at different times. But yeah, here we go. Mitchell. Arnold left. Maroney left. He opens the fridge. But it's not a pathway. It's a normal fridge. And he says, take this with me. The great quote from the Arab in episode one. So yeah. What's with the fridge? So we had a deleted scene. This is, this is the bounty hunter's death. This is basically just wrapping up the bounty hunter. And say, saying goodbye to all, all of Owen's characters. Pretty intense scene, emotionally wise. Owen did a good job. I... I I don't, I don't know what to say about my performance here. It's a little goofy, but we had fun with it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Basically, he, he, he's fed up. He wants to see the hacker. He wants to kill the hacker for, the, for what the hacker did to his mother. And he just loses it. Yeah. Just me. I'll get back to the fridge bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so basically, he's supposed to be exhausted because he just escaped. From, uh, you know, Maroney's house. He was kept in a CIA facility. They released him. Don't know why they would do that. So I guess... Oh, I guess... He was he escaped from the woods and he was caught by the CIA? Just uh, throw that out of the way. That's not important. Maroney got away. So he's upset with himself because he failed. That's what the hacker wanted. He wanted Maroney. Arnold thought he'd go after Psychomos instead. He failed on Maroney, but don't worry. He'll be able to get Psychomos later. great the higher ranks are basically just the three fake hackers or no yeah or two two fake hackers Chris and Brentley boom pulls the gun Arnold does a quick one flip it back shoots the bounty hunter he bleeds out um Arnold is upset because basically this team of season one just falls apart. Filled with talent. A lot of potential shown, but um, all those personalities tied together just didn't work out in the end. But don't worry. He rebounds in season two and he gets a much well-rounded team. And they managed to get the job done. Mm -hmm. He sees mother. And then... Um, I'm not doing commentaries on the specials, but if you do see the Halloween special, that shows when, um, that shows the Bounty Hunter's backstory. Yeah, the gun. 
final shot. The bounty hunter's backstory and, and after his death, he gets to see his, the light and his mother. And there's Arnold. Yep, he's in despair. Arnold has a good end in season two. He 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 has a, he has season two going good. So, anyways, episode's over. Back to the fridge. So that fridge is it's a real fridge, but then it opens up to tunnel pathways, go underground, go all over the place. And there was a scene of Maroni coming out of another fridge that we scrap. And then he so he comes out of the fridge, and then he opens it up, gets a water, sits down on a chair. That scene was scrapped. That was for season two. That was supposed to be Maroney's um, first appearance back in season two. So we scrapped that, but the tunnels are still important. But I can't explain why that is yet. But it is coming soon. So, take care and anticipate that moment. <laughs>